sensor location is very very important. A slight deviation from the normal position even by a deviation of 1 centimeter can cause wide variability in the baseline measurement. It ranges from 15 to 89. So much wide variation can happen with slight deviation of the sensor position. When resighting the optode, you can see a difference of 7. This can be acceptable and may reach up to 15 percent. The limit of agreement is between minus 17 to plus 17. Why this level is very important? When you have a decreased cerebral blood flow of around 30 percent, the cerebral oximetry reading falls only by 10 percent which is within the limit of agreement because the limit of agreement is up to 15 percent but the cerebral oximetry falls only 10 percent even when the cerebral blood flow decreases by 30 percent. This is one of the limitation because if you keep the limit so wide even that decrease you may not see for example it falls from 60 to 50 that is a normal fall, but the cerebral blood flow could have decreased by around 30 percent. That is one of the limitation of cerebral oximetry. And coming to few factors which can affect the cerebral oximetry. There is a negative correlation between cerebral oximetry and age and a positive correlation with hemoglobin. Now coming to the interpretation here. 67 is seen on the left side and 65 is on the right side. This is the absolute value which you see on the monitor. This is the value and cerebral oxygen saturation and here you can see a line which is the trend of the oxygenation and here you can see delta SpO2 which is the difference between the pulse oximeter and the cerebral venous oxygen saturation. Here it is 32 means arterial oxygen saturation is around 97 percent and this AUC area under curve which is 22 is it is an index which quantifies the depth and duration of patient stay below the alarm limit and delta base is the difference between the current reading and the user defined baseline. So, these are the different variables which will be displayed on the monitor. Now, coming to the interpretation. As I said earlier, the normal value is between 60 to 80 percent. Okay. You will have a, this green area is between 60 to 80 percent. Anything less than 50 and alarm should be there and you should intervene and 40 you have to definitely intervene and if it goes below 40, it is critical level and if you consider the deviation from the baseline any deviation more than 20 percent it is very significant and if the deviation is more than 25 you have to intervene and do the intervention 